<laughs> Stop! On this week's Chris Grandy video, we take you to Sausalito, we take you to Sonoma, we take you to the Bay Area Discovery Museum, and in between, we discuss Phil's coffee, we talk chocolate, we talk markets, we talk iPhone versus Android and security, and and especially in an industry like ours. So stay tuned, Chris Grandy's weekly newsletter coming up right now. Mm -hmm. I was just hanging out down the corner at Phil's Coffee House, which is just down that street on the corner. Um, one of the better known uh, local local brands. And just to give you an idea, to people from San Francisco and the Bay Area, Starbucks is like Dunkin' Donuts. So here they have a Blue Bottle, which is the the son of Mr. Coffee. A lot of you are familiar with Mr. Coffee. His son started a company called Blue Bottle, which is a has a cult-like following and is very popular as a really gourmet coffee brand. And then Phil's, which is right down there on the corner, uh, another one. Their specialty is their mint mojito iced coffee. This is the Sausalito Marina. Give you a little view here. Beautiful day down here. We're still walking. We're past the sailboats. Now we're down to power boats. Yachts, whatever you call them. Very nice. Here we are, we're on the waterfront. Uh, something you see a lot of in Sausalito, though. I'm surprised I haven't walked by too many of them yet. Pretty fancy, snazzy cars. It's a beauty, huh? Classic. Probably out in the boat today. But over here you have uh, um, Belvedere and Tiburon. Okay, that's a, a peninsula and uh, a bit of an island in a way. I guess you need to go over that bridge, it's an island. But these are, uh, I believe that's the, your number one most expensive zip code in the country. Right there, across there on the island. They have a view of San Francisco and catch more. This is a cool little hangout area with their standard art. But uh, we'll walk more this way, try to catch a view of the city. It looks pretty foggy. I'm not sure we'll be able to see anything. Take a ticket over here. Hop on a ferry here. And these folks are all heading down, waiting to take the ferry. Can't see anything today, folks. That's wrong. Look at that one. Try a different angle. I'll also get on the street here and show you some downtown Sausalito. Towards the causeway here. And that's the direction they came from, only that's the main road. This is the direction I'll continue on where it gets kind of nice. There's Starbucks in the corner. Typical kind of novelty shop place. Now we come around the bend. And there's, there's some nice art galleries on this street. Starbucks. Beautiful view here. This is the outside. There's a nice restaurant called Barrel House. Actually, I don't know if it's nice. I haven't eaten there. And the other side of the ferry. There's that island. I forget what it's called. They do marathons on road races on that. No one lives on that particular island, but um, Tiburon. San Francisco's over there. See the fog? You really you need the fog lines. When I visited here back in the aughts, you know, 07, 08, I didn't like their restaurants. I mean, none of the restaurants here I felt were any good. And I'm not even that picky. I just, you know, I just thought it was just, just not great food. Uh, now they're pretty good. There's some decent ones. Then you get, now you have your, uh, you know, your, you know, one of them's a Michelin star restaurant around the corner. So you get some real fancy stuff too. But there's the hills on the other side of that hill. It goes down to where the old Coast Guard bases were. There's a Navy base, and um, that's where uh, the Bay Area Discovery Museum is on the other side of that hill, and that's where my son is playing right now, like a madman. He loves that place. Yeah, so go awesome. check that out, the chocolate place. Let's go check it out. Let's see what they got. High end biscuits. Let's check my wife. <laughs> she watches the videos though, so it's really kind of silly to say that, but. I'm going with this because I, I. It's an old video. Okay, this is an old video. This is. Yeah, 2004. Uh, 
Uh, got my John Kerry shirt on or something. Um, okay, so uh, my friend Rich will get a kick out of that. But uh, he worked for John Kerry's campaign. The poor fellow. Um, anyway, so this is what we're choosing on. And what's your name? Julie. Do you want to say hi to the video, Julie? I'm a, I'm a partner in crime. Okay. Oh, no, I could be considered an accomplice. So Julie just opened five months ago. It's your supplier. Well, tell, tell, tell us about you. Tell us, give us a minute. Tell us about your shop, Julie. Oh, uh, about five, five and a half months. Uh, our owner is Nancy Starr. Okay. It's an individually owned little sole proprietorship here. She's a chocolatier. Studying in Europe, studying in Canada, and we have other chocolatiers whose names are on the board. There they are. We're going to be producing chocolate in this facility. We've got them in the back. In the not too distant future, but right now we buy all from local chocolatiers and have them here, and it's delicious. Yes. And they also pick out a few from around the country, around the world. Exactly. Tanzania chocolate, things like that over there, which uh, right. probably have some good missions behind them. So thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate You're it. Welcome. Enjoy. I will. Real chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> East Coast. We just have a store, a winery store. You don't have that usually in many places, but around here it's pretty, it's common and looks really nice. So another little feature is you don't feel like getting out to Napa. You can just pop in. A lot of these folks have their, uh, have their stores uh, where you can just walk to them and enjoy some good wine. Anyway. Um, Walking to Phil's, my fingers in front of the camera. It's just making all these amateur moves because I don't have a selfie stick. Uh, a lot of you are familiar with that. There's the little sticks. You put the phone on the end of it. it looks like someone's filming you. You're really filming yourself. It's called a selfie stick. Got to get one of those. Uh, also, too, I've got a little technology talk. I, I have an iPhone 4, which is old. I mean, I got it back back in the day. And I would like to upgrade. My, my dilemma with cell phones right now, and some of you may be running into this, is that I can get an iPhone 6. or I want to get the 6 Plus due to its... And the fact that it, uh, you can, you know, it's better to read and such. And I'm going to get a really good um, Bluetooth earpiece, so I'm not going to carry and put a, you know, put one of those things to my ear. But the challenge right now is that the iPhone 6 still uses a one gigabit processor, and and there, and then the other issue with them is, is, is they still charge so much for extra memory. You know, if you want to get the 128 gigabit of memory phone, you're paying two hundred dollars more. I think that's just outrageous that they do that. But you know, and I like Apple, but it's just one thing that really annoys me about them. So I was looking at the, the Nexus 6, which is a Google phone built by Motorola, which they bought. So Motorola is a Google company. And really nice phone, 64 gigabit of memory. You get it on sale right now for 500 bucks, uh, as opposed to the um, retail price of the uh, iPhone 6, which is uh, um, 750 for the iPhone 6 Plus. That's a 16 gigabit memory. I think it's, what, 850 for, or something like that for 64 gigs and 950 or 9 something for 128 gigs. And, See, the problem with, see, the Google one has a 3 gigabit processor, has a 64 gigabit memory. You get that for, like, five, actually 540 bucks. You can get 32 gigs for, for uh, 500 bucks. The problem with them having is that, you know, the, the Google processing speed, the quality of the camera, they have a 4K camera on the back, which is, you know, that, that technology standard that we're seeing now in, um, in like, those really high-def TVs, 4K. They have that in the front. They have a 1080, which is the current standard of high-def TV televisions on the front camera so Apple only has a 1080 on the back camera and a 720 on the front which just basically means you can shoot a higher quality video not that any of you want to see the the age marks on my face and that much more clearly but the point is you know, you're getting much more for your Google phone the problem with Google though is is that and that's another way to do it the problem with Google though is they have privacy issues I mean Apple has uh, I think in the last two years has really taken privacy uh, to a, to a um, high level as, as a real selling feature of their services. And they've taken over a lot of the corporate market because of that. You know, they were able to steal a lot of BlackBerry business because iMessenger, iMessage, you know, texting between iPhones and, and, and Apple Macs and iPads and, uh, and FaceTime is very, is encrypted, it's very secure. Even Apple, um, according to their privacy statement, throws out the encryption code so they can't break it if they wanted to. So you have serious security there, and they don't let outside developers, they, there's certain things they don't let on their software platform that make this platform much more inherently secure than Android, which is Google's system, which is open software. The security is much worse. Plus, Google, you know, their, their currency is your data and your information. That's what they sell. So if that's the case, then they, they, they don't want to keep privacy. They want to know what you're searching for and such so, that, so they can sell to you more. So that's my, sta that's my dilemma. You know, Apple... Uh, the pro it's funny, the iPhone is not as good as an Nexus 6, but the um, privacy is much better. So that's why I've just been delaying on what to get. I need to upgrade the phone, but I haven't done it yet. So if any of you want to help me with that debate, let me know. Or I can wait till September when the iPhone gets a lot better. We have a Thai restaurant, the Terrace Restaurant, SF Bay Adventures. 
just like their like you know boat adventures farmers insurance sky temple ventures paradise properties sausalito tax sausalito nail salon so we have you know high-end investment firms and a nail salon in the same building pretty cool bridgeway terrace how you doing yeah marine scope whatever that is <coughs> i think it's a company <laughs> we'll look it up and we're approaching phil's at the gas station how about that for gas prices folks um, Gas prices are about 350 to 390 around the Bay Area, but this gas station they're 497 to 499. Um, you want to? I guess to be gassing up your your Testarossa, it doesn't matter. Here, but, here's yeah. Phil's underneath. If the Phil's isn't listed, people just know it's here. But here's Phil's. We're approaching the door, and uh, I'm gonna get back to work in my mobile office. Let's walk in to give you a little shot of Phil's. A little busy. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I'm going to go find a seat. I'll check it. Seat by the bathroom, always available. Awesome. Hi, right, folks. I'm, I'm walking back to Phil's. We're going to work from there. I'm actually going to check the market, do a little bit of research on price and volume of various indices and such because as many of you know even though the global market might be up six percent this year I feel there's a actually not six anymore with a that dip yesterday kind of knocked that out it's probably up about five but even though that's the case um, I think that that it's it's getting very tired and uh, quantitative easing which is no longer happening in the U.S. and it's and it's been happening forever in Japan, so it doesn't really even matter there anymore. Um, and in Europe, they're starting to do it. But, you know, when you have uh, population dynamics working against you and, uh, you know, aging population, et cetera, you know, the, the countries that could really grow organically would be the ones with young people forming families, buying stuff. And those countries are all uh, more in developing markets, and developing markets aren't doing so well. So we'll talk about that in the market segment portion. But, you know, there's just trends I'm looking at, and... I don't trust anything right now. There's no values out there. Everything's overpriced. And, uh, you know, I like following trends, but I also like when the trend starts from a point of value, and we don't have that right now. So. Just an example of the little shopping galleries. You might see stuff like this in Florida and other places where the temperature's, you know, warmer. A lot of places look like this. This is just very routine, but it's nice anyway. You know, we sit outside under the trees. This is a Mexican restaurant. Get an idea. It's this particular Mexican restaurant, La Casa. Original name is. So this is Sonoma, Sonoma State Historic Park. I think this is a period piece. Basically, here's how things were back in the day. I don't think they painted the Indians with a bow and arrow. A little peace offering there with Cowboy Jim and stuff back in the day. Just little special effects. We're at the Klein Vineyard. They have mud sharks. There goes Christian and Hominy. This is the garden. Outdoor seating. 
think they're fed. And we have a so look at the trained turtle. You got him, okay. Come here. Look, Chris, there's another one coming turtle. Time. We're gonna see fish coming around, okay? There's another trained turtle. Look at that. Oh, and there's yeah. another trained turtle. Never seen trained turtles. Seen birds, squirrels, not trained turtles. Try to find a lonely turtle and get the food just to that turtle. Okay, I just did it right there. There he goes. He's got it, okay? You gotta get him away. Because if you don't give it to the turtle by himself, the fish he's gonna get. Here we go. Ready? Do it again. There it is. Hurry, turtle. Good, got another one. There we go. Good job, turtle. Good job. Now you're thinking. Uh, now the fish get over there and they, they just cramp his style and they can't get to him anymore. But you get a couple of snacks. That's the, that's the technique. Mm-hmm.